Okay, I'm not sure about the lighting right now. I don't know much it's like too harsh on my face because I'm using my phone. I'm not gonna use the camera because I'm just too lazy. So let's start. I da pakai my skincare. If you guys wanna know more about my skincare, you can watch my previous mini vlog. I talked a little bit more about my skin and also my skincare routine some more. I'm going out later, so I think I'm gonna add a little more sunscreen on my face. I don't think my cream I pakai to have enough sunscreen. This is from Bogus Beauty, by the way. Don't forget your eyes, but that's where you get all the wrinkles of your lips. All good now. You can see my skin is like my skin, but that's okay because we're gonna wear foundation today. Okay, so first step, I can put hydrating primer. This is from Laura Mercier. I can put it dekat like my whole face, basically. Don't ask me why I wear this primer. I put it about and I'm putting makeup this put it, so I can put it. This primer is very hydrating. So kalau you ada dry skin or even macam dehydrated skin. This is good for you. So, lepas pakai primer, I akan pakai oil. Kills Midnight Concentration Oil. I takkan pakai my whole face sebab I tak boleh pakai oils on my face. Nanti dia akan naik tiny bumps. So, what I'm going to do is letak dekat my smile lines je. But, I have really bad smile lines kat sini. Kalau I pakai foundation, my foundation akan crack. Sini I tak ada sangat tau. Sini je yang teruk. Sini macam okay sikit. Tapi, I smile. Sini lagi habis ni. Tengok. Okay, so sini will crack more. So now my skin dark cracked. I'm gonna start off with my concealers. For concealers, I pakai dua. It's the same brand, dark shade tip concealers. Tapi I pakai dua different color. Satu adalah light medium sand. This one is for my hyperpigmentation. Jerawat I akan tinggalkan sa merah tau. So ke sa merah tu I cover guna color light medium sand. Tapi kalau I nak brighten my eyes, brighten my skin semua, I akan pakai in the shade light medium. Do you need two concealers? No. Absolutely not. You can just brighten it up by using foundation. So for this light medium set, I can pakai dekat tempat yang merah. So usually bawah hidung. Let me mark. Ini ada. I usually break out a lot more on this area. Dalam video tak nampak sangat. Tapi in real life boleh nampak. I usually break out kat dagu juga. Ini pun baru ada spot saya tu. Light medium for my under eyes. I just recently started this routine. Before this, I pack a foundation dulu, but I'm like trying not to wear too much products on my face. So now kita akan move on to foundation. Hari ni I nak guna foundation Bourjois Healthy Mix. This you can get at Watsons. Really, really good. I mean the shade Vanilla. So for foundation, I akan letak dekat tempat yang I tak letak concealer. Itu je. Really challenging to do makeup tutorial when you're in Jabi. And then I'm gonna move on to concealing my brows. Yes, I bought some bunda sekali sebab I malas nak tunggu satu. I macam terus je. This is Maybelline in the shade light. This used to be my concealer but then I don't really like it that much for concealing. I don't think that it's a good concealer in terms of macam kalau you nak conceal anything. But it is a good concealer kalau you nak macam brighten up your face ke apa because it's really creamy. So I enjoy using this kalau nak conceal I punya brows. Because my brows, okay my brows nampak tak? My brows, it needs like concealing. Dia macam bersepah and dia ada banyak like pars. Spars eh? Sparse. Dia banyak macam bagus kosong So I kena like fill it in So now bila I dah pakai semua liquid products on my face I'm gonna blend everything I'm gonna use a beauty blender This one I beli kat Shopee je Nanti I kasih the link Dalam satu bekas tu Ada banyak gila sponge I bagi my family and friends All of the sponge So I tinggal lagi dua je I've been using this since like early of the year Still okay lagi Wait a minute Wait that does not look okay Okay I, I think I need to change my sponge Sebab macam ada black spots Ew, I just noticed that. That's so disgusting. Ew, that's so disgusting. I'm gonna change my sponge sekarang. Let's not use that. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna take a new sponge. Got a new sponge now. So, all clean. No black dots. Let's compare. This is a new sponge and this is my old sponge. Disgusting gila Cause okay, I just got contact sah, contact lens. Sekarang baru I nampak benda tu. Before this, I tak, I tak nampak. I rabun. So I tak pernah. Look, oh my god. Okay. Now I know why I kept getting pimples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Pixi Glow Mist. I just got this like last week. So I'm gonna spray on the sponge. Kenapa I buat macam ni? I tak tahu. I nampak makeup artist buat. So I pun tiru. I tak tahu pun kalau it makes any difference. I just tiru je. Now I'm gonna blend it out.
Usually I takkan letak banyak sangat on my forehead Because I rasa my forehead macam okay Tak ada apa-apa that needs to be covered sangat That's the thing about how I do my makeup I usually don't go heavy Dekat areas yang I feel like I don't need to letak banyak sangat Because I malas gila nak basuh makeup Like I feel like basuh makeup Because I guna micellar water right So micellar water takes a long time Untuk like remove the makeup completely So kalau I pakai banyak sangat I like akan like Ambil banyak gila masa untuk remove makeup Saya dah menyampah I think this is good enough already This is my skin Lepas dah blend everything Next, I akan pakai loose powder Laura Mercier I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it This is in the shade Honey Dia macam kuning-kuning sikit I suka Sebab I suka Kalau nampak macam tan Than my actual skin tone If I skip this step My makeup makan crack tau So I never skip loose powder even if I pakai makeup simple-simple. Makeup simple-simple pun I akan pakai loose powder sebab loose powder yang akan tolong I buat makeup I stay. I rasa compact powder, I don't know lah if you guys know any compact powder yang bagus, please let me know. Sebab most compact powder yang guna macam takkan help my makeup untuk stay sangat. So far, this loose powder yang bagus gila untuk help my makeup nampak smooth and flawless. Ini pakai lebih kecil sikit sebab I selalu peluh kat situ, kat sini. I selalu peluh. So, I kena pakai lebih sikit. Okay, the way that I bake, I just like letak my whole face. But my whole face is oily tau. I know some people use like this method where they're macam like that. I think they're buat macam tu sebab they're pakai cream contour. And I don't really use cream contour. Mainly because I don't have it. So, I just like bake everywhere. Okay, I know I look yellow. But, I'm gonna... Bila I dah blend, nanti cantik. Okay, jangan risau. Okay, so next I'm gonna move on to my eyes Let this bake for a while uh, I usually go for this palette This is a really really good palette I beli ni like 2 years ago I tak hit pen lagi tengok So I akan pakai this shade I akan like pakai satu colour je sebab I malas I, okay, I tak suka pakai makeup lama-lama Sebab I rasa macam I nak cepat I nak, I nak, I nak cepat So sometimes my makeup looks like crap But Blend and I'm also get my crease. Asal macam buruk. Ii, ada sudah tak? Ada sudah tak banyak sangat. My eyes always get so teary for no reason. Like. This eye is better. I don't know. Guys, I don't really know. I don't even know how. To, I'm not really good at doing makeup. I'm just showing you how I do my makeup. What the heck? Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm like lazy right now. I can be this color. And then I can let up on my eye. Why do I do this? I don't know. I just think it looks nice. I'm basically done with my eyeshadow. That's just the most that I can do. My skills very limited. Plus two, I can go for eyeliners. Silky Girl in the coat dark brown. Usually I can pakai black. I can like tarik my eyes. Color dekat my waterline. Oh, tu kena contact aku. I never skip this step. Sebab my eyes akan nampak botak. Like legit botak. I'm gonna show you guys. Oh my god, keep seeking my contacts. So, okay, tengok difference ya. Yeah. Ni I pakai. Ni I tak pakai. Ni nak macam botak sikit. Ni nak lagi cantik. Tengok side by side. So, don't skip this step. Now, I'm going to proceed with a winged eyeliner. So, with eyeliners, I usually like start from hujung. I can buat dia punya ekor dulu. I tak akan buat panjang sangat sebab I takut tak jadi. Pula. <gasps> I akan remove that later. Oh, I'm so lazy to clean that up. To be honest with you, kadang-kadang I biar je sebab I malas. Like I'm... But since I'm doing a video, I'm going to clean it up. Okay, I think that looks so much better now. Okay, so after that, it cosmetics punya compact powder. 
and now I can like letak kat tempat yang I akan get so oily. Why do I do this? I don't know. Okay, I just like kick it up and then I just like brush it off. But so we're gonna move on to bronzing and also blusher. This is Hourglass Ghost Palette. Ini mahal nak mampus. I can't deny that. Mahal gila nak mampus. It was like 400. But I caved in because I nampak reviews muka the best. So I macam... Okay, fine. I believe. I'll treat it as an investment. Benda ni bagus gila nak mampus. Bagus tahap like... Bagus gila nak mampus. Like so good. Like so good. I'm just creating a death first. And then I like, I'm big guna the answers and like. First, I can contour my nose using the same bronzer. This is like an important step for me because if I don't contour my nose, my makeup nampak like there's something missing. So usually for my nose, I can start from my eyebrows and then bawa bawa. Outline dulu. Or I brush. Outline first, first of all, right line. So, bawah dia, sini. Sini. I'm just gonna blend it out. Kalau I tak bronze my face, nanti my face akan nampak flat je. So now, bila you dah contour sikit-sikit, baru macam you like bring some dimension into it, you know, it looks like this. I have a nose now. Tadi I tak ada nose. And then I akan pakai blusher. For blushers, I'm not gonna use this palette. Sebab pakai something macam more like nude today. So I'm gonna use Benefit Georgia. Ni macam colour peachy-peachy sikit which I love. Dia macam tak nampak sangat kan? So I kena like letak banyak gila baru nampak. Sekarang baru nampak sikit. Tapi I macam still tak puas hati. Now that's done. Okay. So after that, I bought blush your eye, I can bought my brows. Wada Insta Perfect. I actually don't know what last year tau, tapi dah tak ada dah, which I'm really sad about. So but I use this like religiously. Like I memang guna every time I pakai makeup. Before this, I tak pernah buat my brows sangat tau. Like I always guna like pencils and crayons. I end up looking like Shin Chan. Like I never knew how to do my brows. But ever since I discovered brow mascara, I'm like, macam oh, that's what I needed all this while. Let's start dengan like my bangi depan ni. I'm just gonna brush it up. Letak colour sikit. Lepas tu, I akan pakai eyebrow pencil untuk buat echo dia. Because I've had echo sangat kan. And I nak macam pekatkan echo dia sikit. From Korea Cosmetics. You know what? I'm not gonna touch it anymore because I think I'm gonna ruin it. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I don't know if it looks good or not, but it's fine. This is the mascara. This is my eyes. Nampak macam I tengah pakai bulu mata palsu. This mascara ada kering sikit tau. Usually, kalau tak kering, kalau the formula is still watery, it looks better. This one macam clumpy sikit sebab mascara tu dah kering sikit. But usually, it looks way better. I'm gonna use Velvaniti punya long lift lashes. I don't banyak gila, tapi it still separates my lashes really well. So that is Velvet Vanity. So long! This is Wycon. Yang dah dry. Oh my god, the difference. Can you guys see the difference? And I'm gonna use Maybelline punya Hyper Curl Mascara for my bottom lashes. And the last step, this is Saiwa Cosmetics in the shade Paris. It's my favorite shade from Saiwa. The bulk color dia macam nude yang cantik, nude yang kena dengan my skin tone. So I'm done with my makeup. Not sure what this does, but I see everyone do it, so I'm just gonna do it because I follow everyone. How I do my makeup, y'all. Okay, let's do some B roll. So 
that's how I do my makeup. I did this video because you guys kept asking me to do a makeup tutorial video. It's not a tutorial. It's just I'm showing you macam mana nak buat makeup art. And I jarang buat makeup videos because you guys saw how I did earlier. Like not a professional. Like I... You know? Okay, I don't want to be able to do it because I hate a long art show. So, bye.